Let's talk about how to predict the number of pedals or points a simple gear in ring design will have. It's quite easy to do, you can do it by hand. That is why all of the um, gears have their prime factors listed right below the gear count. Um, that's 72, the prime factor is two cubed, so that's two times two times two, times three squared, three times three. So if you wanna know what 72 and 48 will give you, I mean, it's easy enough to do this, but when you've got lots of gears or bigger gears, or you're actually trying to plan a design, this is nice to be able to do either precisely or approximately. So we're gonna start by writing down 72 and 48, and we're just gonna write down their prime factors. Two times two times two times three times three. And don't worry, we're not gonna to have to do much with these. 48 is two times two times two times two times three. Now we're just gonna cancel everything that's on the top and the bottom. So two, 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 three, three. That's left with three over two. That means that in this case, it will take, it will give you three petals in two times around the circle. Uh, this bit doesn't really matter that much. It's the three on top that is um, more interesting or more relevant usually. For another example, and then I'll, then I'll show this off, uh, it'll be easier. So 72 again, two times two times two times three times three, this time 36 is two times two times three times three. Cancel, 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 just equals two over one. So that means we'll get two petals over one rotation around the gear. And that's, you know, a pretty low number. So let's see what that looks like and see if this makes sense. So we go, whoop. I didn't hold it down still enough, so it slipped a little. But um, we've got one, two petals, and the 36 only went around once because 36 is half of 72, so it makes an oval. Let's look at the 48 now. Um, and so we're gonna get three petals in two rotations. So, here we go. And this is one rotation, because we've gotten the edge of the gear back to where we started. And now two rotations, we, we, start, we got back here again. And we've got one, two, three petals. And now just to give us a slightly more complicated example, let's look at 48 and 21. Big number 48, gear inside, 21. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Two times two times two times two times three. And 21 is three times seven. So there's not much to cancel here. Two, four, eight, 16, 16 over seven. That means this is gonna have a lot of points and it's going to go around a bunch of times, 16 and seven respectively. Um, Oop. So let's just give that a go. Here we go. All right. So you can see that is, we're not gonna count them. That's, there's 16 of them. It went around a bunch. But, so now you know two things. You know several things. The easiest one is that you can figure out the number of petals that any design will have if you just cancel the prime factors and see what's left. But the other thing, if you don't care really precisely what number, you just wanna know, is this gonna be complicated or simple? You can look at them and be like, do they share many prime factors? Like this has a seven, and so you know, and this one doesn't have a seven, so you know there's gonna be a bunch of numbers not canceling, right? Like this is all twos. So even if you just glance at it and be like, wow, those prime factors look pretty similar, this will be a simple design, or, ooh, those are very different prime factors, this will be a very complicated design. That'll, just a glance at it, can give you a sense of what you're in for, even if you don't want to do all the math. Um, I'll make a future video 
that'll be a bit more complicated about how to predict uh, gear in gear systems because you can predict some things if you want to do this but uh, yeah there's more gears it's a little bit more complicated and obviously the compact gear set comes with this nice little table where I've done the math already but once you get another gear set or two the tables would get too big I can't make tables for every gear combination so being able to know what you're getting into makes it really easy to use a bunch of gears all put together. 